How are you doing? Well, let me tell you how I'm doing. We're coming to the message now, and I've just noticed that we've got very, very little time, and there's a reason for that. Because I feel it's much more important for you to be worshipping God in spirit and in truth than listening to me preach. But I just want to say this. The Word is necessary. When we bring you worship, the worship without the Word, there's always something lacking. We're doing a series here on the Father Heart of God, and today we come to part 20 of the Father Heart of God. And we're looking at Matthew, the sixth chapter, and from verse 9. We're studying, actually, the Lord's Prayer. The Lord taught us this wonderful, brilliant, super impressive prayer. And I don't think there's a prayer that I could ever pray that would even come close to what Jesus is saying here. You know the prayer. You know the Lord's Prayer. It says this, Our Father in heaven, may your name be honoured. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done here on earth, just as it is in heaven. Give us our food for today and forgive us our sins just as we have forgiven those who have sinned against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Today's message is called, Thy Will Be Done. Now, when Jesus was teaching that. My Bible actually, at the beginning of verse 5, literally starts with this, teaching about prayer and fasting. Jesus was talking during the Sermon on the Mount about prayer and fasting. He wanted people to know the way to communicate with his Father. And if you notice right at the beginning, it says, Our Father in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven. He's mentioning his Father. And he's also mentioning your Father. That's why he said, Our Father. What is incredible is when he says this, May your kingdom come soon, verse 10. He says, May your will on earth be done just as it is in heaven. You see, Jesus knew already that when God the Father said something, declared something, it would happen instantly. Right at the beginning of the Bible in Genesis, we see that the Lord said, let there be light. And guess what? There was light. Let there be light. And it was just like someone flicked on the light switch and there was light. Because God had decreed it, God had said it, and therefore light came. Beloved, whatever God says in heaven happens instantly. But whatever God says on earth doesn't happen. Not all the time. Because, you see, God gave us free will. He said that he would look after us. He said that he would gently take care of us if we wanted him to. But there are so many millions and millions and billions of people out there who don't care. Who don't care what God wants. I've heard all sorts of prophetic words. I was in Israel one time, and I'll never forget this. And I saw a preacher preaching. He was an Israeli guy. He was Jewish, but he was a Messianic Jew, meaning that he believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. And he was bringing a prophetic word, and he was saying simply this. If America, and certainly the United Kingdom, don't 
align themselves with Israel, then disaster will happen. Beloved, I feel that in this world today, we have no time. The only time we have now is to be able to do the will of the Father. And we need to know what he wants us to do. We need to know. And we need to make it our business to say, Father, what is your will in this situation? Now, I'm not talking about silly little things like, Father, I beseech you, I pray in the name of Jesus, what do you think, Lord, that we should have for dinner tonight? No. No, he's not talking about that. What he's talking about are the major issues in your life. What he's talking about with what is what he made you to do. Why did he create you the way he created you? Why did he give you the brain that he gave you? I remember listening to a preacher talking about his wife from the pulpit and he said that I didn't know how much to give one time at a, at a service that I was at and I was going to put in a hundred dollars into the into the collection plate and my wife said no we we need to give ten thousand dollars today and uh, he said to her have you checked with almighty god that that's right have you asked the lord that that's right because i'm i think he would have told me if i was supposed to give ten thousand dollars she said no I haven't checked with God at all, but I feel that amount is right because of the work that the church are doing. I feel that amount is right. And what he learned from that was the fact that God gave us a brain. He gave us a brain. But what I'm talking about, letting God's will on earth be done just as it is in heaven, that's an incredible prayer. Because you see, if that were to happen, then God could say, let this happen, let that happen, and indeed it would. And if it was left to God, I am sure he would rid, of, uh, rid us of all of these wars with all the terror that is going on at the moment. It's really important that we know that we need to do God's will. And it starts with you. And it starts with me. For me to say, Father, what is your will for my life today? What do you want me to do for you today? Lord, how can I begin that journey? Show me the steps to take, Lord. And I will take those steps because I want to go up Mount Zion and I want to get to the top. I want to run the race, as Philippians says. I want to run the race until it's complete. Because, Lord God Almighty, I want to do your perfect will for my life. I pray in Jesus' name that you would show me that, beloved, that is the kind of prayer that we should be praying every day. I don't, and I know you don't either, but I want to. I want to start asking God what his will for my life is. And I want you to do the same. And just simply say these words, Lord, day by day, I pray in Jesus' name, you show me the steps that you want me to take. Amen and amen. That is wonderful. That is glorious. And our God reigns. And that, of course, is passion. It's been wonderful having your company. Don't forget that email address. If you'd like to contact us, then you can do that at any time you like. It's simply this, tv at worshipradio247.org. That's tv at worshipradio247.org. It has been wonderful getting your company. 
I'm going to see you on the next broadcast. Thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget, stay right there and you'll hear all about Worship Radio 247. Bye-bye for now. Hi there. If you're looking for worship 24 hours a day whenever you want it, then look no further than right here. Worship Radio 247 is a 24 hour a day, 365 day a year internet radio station based in the UK but broadcasting worldwide on the internet. Many people are tuning in and being blessed by the broadcasts and it's easy to find too. Simply connect to www worshipradio247.org and click on the appropriate link or even download the app for your smartphones or tablet devices and there you are. Worship Radio 247 at your fingertips whenever you want it and wherever you want it. Worship Radio 247 online worshipping God in spirit and in truth www.worshipradio247.org